You know what really messes people up preparing for the National Registry? A call. Do you know what really messes with people when they're taking the National Registry exam, maybe even just being in class, is when they get different bits of information from different places. And probably nothing is more like that when it comes to figuring out what oxygen saturation is targeted for a person and what the definition of hypoxia is. In acute coronary syndrome, the definition of hypoxia is now below 90%, although you can still find heart association documents out there that say 94%. And when it comes to traumatic brain injury, the American Heart Association says greater than or equal to 94%. And PHTLS in their new edition says getting it to 90% is critical, 94% is optimal. We don't like ranges. We want to have things handed to us. But what does this really mean for the test? One, the National Registry knows when there's conflicting information out there. They're not going to give you a question that says, what is the oxygen saturation, blah, blah, blah. They're going to give you a patient. They're going to give you choices. And you're going to have to say in your head, what's the message in all this? Here's the message. Too much oxygen is bad. Oxygen is good in hypoxia. And I'm going to choose a device that's appropriate for the patient in that situation. And they're not going to give you choices of... 91%, 92%, 93%, or 94%. They're going to say transport, oxygen by nasal cannula, oxygen by non-rebreather mask, and ventilate the patient. And if you've got a patient at 88%, a nasal cannula is going to get them where you need to be. And that's really important to remember. Don't freak out about the numbers. The National Registry is going to want you to make a good decision. That's all anyone wants you to do as an EMT, AEMT, or paramedic based on the science that's out there. And when things aren't perfectly aligned, you know what you use? Judgment. They might need a little oxygen. Oh, they need a lot of oxygen. And that's ultimately what it's all about.